Welcome Sagittarius to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 27th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. Last week the Sun and Mars powered their way into your sign. Now with Mars aligning to the Sun this week through to Wednesday, this is a very action orientated combination. Your sign is also very much about independence and adventure. It's a mutable sign, but fiery. So that gives you a lot of impetus, yes? Well, it's just that the full moon on Monday suggests that someone could have an opinion about something that's important to you that could, well, be a bit deflecting, or perhaps you're going to feel it as being a little bit critical. But also, maybe things aren't flowing along quite at the pace you would like within yourself because of the restrictive energies of Saturn that have been applying to the Sun and Mars so far. And that is going to impact onto the full moon. So the energy from the full moon, which provides a backdrop for the following two weeks, so pretty well the first half of December, means that if there is something you want to go for, you're probably going to have to be very single-minded, very applied, and also have a degree of patience in your approach. Also, Mercury in your sign is going to be leaving on Friday this week. Uh, it will be coming back later in December, but it is in its pre-retrograde shadow. So that also could be slowing things somewhat. And your ruling planet, Jupiter, is misaligned to the Sun. Well, it is aligned, but in a more challenging aspect called the Quincunx, 150 degrees. Now, Jupiter's in the part of your situation that's all about duty, obligation and responsibilities, whereas the Sun wants you to focus on what's good for you. So you may find yourself a little bit torn in that sense as well. However, once Mercury moves into Capricorn on Friday, it does actually forge a very constructive link to Saturn. And if there are some details that you need to work out, concentrate and really get a good plan together, that combination will be helpful. But from Friday through to Sunday, peaking on Sunday, Venus in your sector of friendship is squaring up to the dynamic but powerful Pluto in your sector of everyday resources, but also core values. It could be towards the end of this week, perhaps even from the full moon, that you're realizing the people who really get what you're needing to do for you at the moment, and the people who are more in it for what they can get from you. Sadly, that could be uh, something that becomes clearer by the end of this week. But in terms of friendships, there could also be someone that actually has a, a little bit of an attraction for you, but isn't necessarily showing it openly. Pluto can be where people manoeuvre in a non-obvious way, and Venus in the 11th house could be very social. So there may be someone who uh, has got that attraction for you, but look out for those uh, non-verbal signals, that body language, because that could be quite an interesting situation. But equally, there could be a friend who really and truly, maybe their values don't align with yours as much as, as you would like. And you may have to slice through uh, the veneer of what they're saying to really understand what they really mean. But this can still be a dynamic time for you, but I just feel it requires a degree of patience. And patience is something that uh, is in short supply for many of us these days because we live in such an instant society. But if there's something you're working towards that's really important to you and you feel very passionate about, stick with it, but just be aware that there may be some things around it that could inhibit you a little bit, slow you down, a few moans, not everybody quite understanding what's so important to you, but stick with your target. Thank you so much for tuning in for your weekly horoscope forecast. If you order your year 2024 personal forecast based on your unique birth data now, you'll get 30% off in my special package where you get your character analysis as well. But I'll also give you your free zodiac forecast for all 12 signs for Western Tropical, 
for Indian horoscopes and also for the Chinese, all in special booklets delivered with your charts. Please see the link below for more.